All right, so we have my mom's light here and the sensor here is broken. Um, ended up changing, there's two out in the front, in front of the garage, but this one's broken. We actually found a couple of these on Amazon. I'll put in the link in the description. And last time we just replaced these and they were fun. So typically what we do is we switch out the LED lights in here. So this kind of sucks because there's just the, like they're not regular light bulbs. So like the actual thing is not super common, but you can find them on Amazon. But we're gonna change out the sensor and hopefully this thing will work. All right, for starters, we took uh, the light off the wall. You might actually need two people for this because it gets in here. These are screw offs or thumbs, thumb screws. So they shouldn't be too difficult to screw off. Um, and then you actually don't have to take that out, but I ended up doing it anyways, just because it's easier to not drop this. So took this off here, these two screws, be careful if they're outside. Uh, it's really easy to strip them, so just be careful with that. And if you do, you can technically, like I actually zip tied a couple of the other ones because the, the bolts were so rusted out on the outside. So just be careful of these. Those two bolts out, so you get the meat of it here. So we gotta take this out, these three screws, and then we can get to the sensor. Also, I feel like I shouldn't have to tell you this, but don't touch that with your hands. You might um, mess it up with your hand oils. So yeah, don't don't touch the LED. All right, let's check those out. Now we got to the sensor. We got our new sensor here. We got three lines and then, yeah, we just need to replace this and then test it out. Um, Sometimes you might also need to replace this. I think we actually did replace this uh, since I took them out. So this shouldn't be the issue. It's most likely this, which is what we changed before. Okay, so I've taken all the wires out and then matched them up with the new one. And now I'm twisting this puppy out so that we can get to and switch these out. So this is the old one and I've got to twist in the new one. This actually might make more sense to twist in later, since now I'm gonna twist this up with wires, so this will probably be a big mistake on my part. Not big, but uh, just gotta make sure that these two, um, white, white, and blue, go in the same one, and then the black and uh, the black and or the black and brown go in the same one too, and then. This black one goes through this side to the other side and hangs out with the white wire back here and then hooks into those two wires. So it's basically, um, yeah, white to white and then black to brown in this case for this house. So this one had a couple of rubber washers on it and a little screw on it. So some of them require this, but this one just requires this here and we can put this in here and then spin it to twist it on and then we'll rewire the rest of this here all right put this in here on the other side and then these two wires now we should be good see if it works or not there we go so it was the sensor. It is the only one that we yeah, didn't change, yeah. but uh, I guess we have an extra one in case <laughs> this one goes out because the light bulbs are not supposed to go out. Like LED lights are technically supposed to last for like 20-ish years. Yeah. And these aren't on super, well, I guess they are on yeah. for a, lo a long time. Yeah. 